so we start saying all of these things that we ain't going to do and why we ain't going to do it, making all of these promises. And the whole time he done said it's better to vow. It's better not to vow than to vow and not pay. What we don't realize is we don't have to say all that. We don't have to. Listen, when he say when we when, when we give forgiveness, when he say he moved as far as from the east as from the west. And he throw that into the sea of forgetfulness. Guess what we start doing? We start right back lying. In the prayer. You already done start back lying in the prayer. He know you going to do it three weeks from now. He done forgave you. And you up here talking about I ain't going to do it again. He done seen four weeks from now. You going to do it. You ain't even got to do that. We don't even have to say what we ain't going to do. He done already washed us clean. The only thing you got to do is have a little muscle seat and walk. You, you, you just take the walk. When you fall, you, you go holler at him. We ain't got to say what we ain't going to do. But let me tell you something. Let me, let me keep going. Let me keep going into this temptation, though. After I met this girl half for about two, three weeks, right? After I met this girl half for about two, three weeks, this girl, I was deceived. I was deceived. Listen, so many people be thinking, oh, that's penitentiary talk, oh, that's jail talk, all oh, this, this, and that. Let me tell you something. There's some women out here who be popping their game on men and waiting for them to come home from the penitentiary, and they have other intentions other than what they're telling you before you get there. This girl was talking about she wasn't into this and she wasn't into that, and she getting her life together and she going to school. True enough, she was going to school. But what I didn't know is she was expecting me to come home as Joe T. She was expecting me to come home as Joe T. Come home, get some fresh air, and turn into Bubaco. That's what she was expecting. Probably what most people was expecting. Not just her, my homeboys, some of my family. All of them people was wait. Just come home. Let him come home, get some fresh air. Eventually, he going to turn back in the, you know what I'm saying? And then they, this is what they plotting on. Let me tell you about that enemy. The enemy plotting, he got the agenda. Because all of them thinking, huh, are we back? Are we finna get some bread? We finna turn the town upside down? We finna do this? We finna do that? But they do it in the most craftiest way. Listen to me. There's some people that's up under you right now. They acting like they're your friend. They acting like they're your biggest cheerleader. But get what they doing the whole time. It's orchestrated. The whole time it's orchestrated. It's some orchestration going on. They just waiting for the moment. So they, you know what I'm saying? They just waiting for the moment. So after about two, three weeks rolled by, she started mentioning weed. When she started throwing up the weed, I was like, she started talking about a plug. She can get this for this price. She can get that. She just started throwing it out there. First, no, she walked around on the phone talking to somebody. Oh, yeah, tell him I can get him a pound for this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, my homegirl, she got it. It's cheap and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? She's saying it out loud. I know she waiting for me to say, hey, what? Hey, why you ain't tell me? That's what she expected from me. I don't say nothing. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. What she got going on? She know what I'm on. She know, you know what I'm saying, what, I'm, what I done came home on. She know I done changed my life. You know what I'm saying? I done dropped some pig in her. But she, she most definitely is able to tell because she from my hometown that I ain't nothing like who I used to be. So she know for a fact what she doing right now. I'm finna disagree with this. But she waiting. It's a hook, line, and sinker. It's a bait move. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the most high taught us to fish. If you think the enemy ain't teaching his to fish, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? If, if the most Adam taught us to fish, one thing we know about the enemy is he think he's he 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 try to mimic what the king do. He try to mimic what the king do. So he most definitely throwing out he he throwing alley you too. <laughs> so, so, so look, when I ain't say nothing. So finally she go ahead and flat out ask me. She flat out ask me, what's up? You wanna I can I said, dude, what? I said, man, you tripping, man. You know I ain't finna do nothing like that. Like, I just done 10 years in prison. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to see my child. I ain't get to see my mama the whole time. Like, I run down the whole thing to her. What makes you think I, I ain't even been home 30 days yet? You asking me to jump in the streets like you tripping. She was like, well, ain't nobody gonna know. You know what I'm saying? We could do this and we could do it this way. She started. I said, dang. She done already had a plan mapped out and everything. She had a, but get what though? I was struggling at the time. Books hadn't took off. 
the job that I had wasn't paying. Now, let me tell you how good the enemy is. Let me tell you how good the enemy is. Because, let me tell you something. The king, the king, when he fasted them 40 days and 40 nights, remember it was one time that the enemy took him up on the highest mountain. And when he took him up on the highest mountain, it said he told him, you fall down and worship me. I'm going to give you all this. He showed them all the world. Let me tell you something about the enemy. He take us up on that high mountain all the time. Because it's in your, what, 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 what we seen in reality, what he was describing in, rea in reality is what the enemy show us in our head. And see, see, he showed me a flashback of what I used to have and what I used to do. Well, all the money I used to have, all, all the opportunities I used to have. He, that's what he did. He, he, he showed me a flashback. You, if you get that bud, you're going to get this. You're going to be able to get that. You ain't going to be behind. You're going to be able to catch up. You're going to be able to get the car. You're going to be able to get the clothes. You're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to do that. Same thing when he did to the Messiah when he took him on. He said, you fall down and worship me. The minute I say yes, the minute I say yes, I'm. that's what I done did. The minute. And that's what he do to so many people. He show you something in your head that can get you ahead. He show you a visual. It's going to get you ahead. You fall for it. Huh. Before, and then get what? And then it's a pretty ride in the beginning. You getting anything you want. It's a pretty ride in the beginning. But then when it all start crumbling, all these snakes around you, all these people backbiting you, people telling on you, people sleeping with you, girl, your homeboys trying to rob you, people lying on you, people calling the police on you. He don't show you all that part. He just showed you the nice part. He just showed you the nice part. That's how you get most of the dope boys today. Most of the dope boys today, what they don't understand, I hope y'all watching this on YouTube, most of them in the streets today, what they don't understand is it look good, it sound good. What these rappers talking about look good, it sound good. Half of them ain't telling you what, what, what kind of STDs they got. You know, and what it, half of them ain't, they ain't telling you when they went down there to the jail, they crying like a baby. They, they ain't telling you about that time somebody rocked and went upside the head. They ain't telling you none of that. Only thing they doing is flashing their bankroll, pulling up in their car and showing you that they got some joys on. That's all they showing you. They ain't telling you the hard part. They ain't telling you the hard part. So look, so look, check this out. So after I was out, which I started, <laughs> it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot within that store, but I ain't going to get on all that. After I had been out for like three or four months, you know what I'm saying? One thing I remember, and for the people who just now getting on here, what I'm talking about is, my walk with Christ versus when I came home versus now. My walk when I first came home versus now. That same girl I was just telling you about, she said, I remember her telling me, it was a time I, I had ordered some of my books, which was my first book. This, this my first, my first book right here. I had ordered some books and I was supposed to go get the books. And she was intentionally not trying to take me to get the book. So I called my sister, told my sister to take me to get the books. Excuse me. And I remember when I came back, I sold all the books fast. But I remember her telling me, I'll never forget this. It's a couple of things a couple of people done said to me since I've been home. She said, you ain't going to be able to keep selling that book. That's what she told me. She said, you ain't going to, what's up, Water Whisk? She said, you ain't going to be able to keep selling that book. That's how the enemy work. It's a lot of people that the most high done show. He done showed you something. He done told you something. He done promised you something. And then you get around the wrong people. You attach yourself to the wrong people. You, you start hanging around people you ain't got no business hanging around. And then they start throwing them little seeds in your head. And then you start to back away from the vision. You start to question, is it possible? You start to question yourself. This girl told me, she said, you ain't gonna be able to keep doing that. But see, let me tell you something about the, let me tell you something about the word. What I didn't know, what I used to pray and talk to the most high. But let me tell you something, you don't have no fight. You don't have no power until you know it. You can say what you wanna say. You can think you could do this, but until you get into that word, you're not gonna understand how to fight. You're not going to understand him, and you're not going to understand the enemy. So at this point, and I credit this to probably my entire five years I've been home, that discernment.
You can have discern you you can have discernment in the natural, but it's a different. It's a you can have discernment in the listen. To what I'm gonna say because it's important. You can have discernment in the natural and know something is wrong and know something is off. But if you're not able to tie it to the word, you're not gonna know who voice it is. Listen, you can have discernment in the natural, but if you don't know the word, you're not gonna be able to tie it to the scripture. So when she said what she said, it, <laughs> the, scriptures, the, the scripture tell you clearly, if it don't comfort you, if it don't encourage you, and if it don't edify you. Listen, it's three things that, that the scripture tell you when it's the most high speaking, when it's the spirit. If it comforts you, edify you, or encourage you, it's him. Anything other than that is clear. It's not him. Without me knowing the word, I just would have been able to discern what I would have been able to say what most people say. Oh, she hate. See, you, you see, when you don't know the word, you're gonna respond. Natural gonna respond to natural. That's why most dudes in the street don't know how to fight. They respond to natural with the natural. They respond to the world with the world. When you say something you ain't got no business saying that don't edify you, comfort you, or encourage you, what you will do is say, Oh, they hate. But if you but if you know the word, you able to say. Oh, that's the enemy. Oh, that. Oh, that's the enemy. Then, not only am I able to say that's the enemy, I'm able to turn around and say, "Well, Philippians one and six say, <laughs> listen, you able to fight back. You able to flip it and say, well, uh, the scriptures say, he who started the good work in me will complete it until the day of Christ. I don't have to call you no hater. I ain't got to call you no hater. I'm gonna repeat the word to you. But see, that that's that's the difference in my walk then versus my walk. You know what I'm saying? So, so when she said that, I was like, hmm. That was a clearly you the enemy. Clearly you the enemy. If you with me, you know what type of man I am. You say you a praying woman. Listen what I'm saying. You know you a praying woman. You have a relationship with the most high. It's no way if I told you my vision from him, you'll discredit the vision. It's no way. It's people right now. You done shared your vision with, said stuff to that you know come from him, and they ain't said nothing to encourage you, edify you, or comfort your vision. You need to cut them loose. You need to cut them loose. Point blank, period. Because they most definitely, they not hearing from him. Because when you connect to the people who are hearing from him, they're going to sow into what you got going on. So I ended up getting out of that situation. Everything did, so much, so much got out of hand. Listen. So much got out of hand after that, but I don't, don't want—I don't want to just give every. I don't want to give every single story, but I'm gonna—I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into what the difference between when I came home and now. When I first came home after about a year, I used to go—I used to go viral on Facebook a lot. I used to do this thing called Bible Buddies, and when I was doing Bible Buddies. I used to get invited to a lot of churches. I used to go places and speak. I used to go places and give my testimony all the time. Pastors would hit my phone, inbox me. Hey, 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 man, you want to come here? You want to come? You want to come to youth night? You want to come here? I was doing gospel rap. I was tra tra traveling, doing everywhere, and then going everywhere. And then it was this one. I went to this church one day, back home in my in my hometown. When I walked out of that church, I heard loud and clear in my spirit. He said, don't ever, he said, don't speak at another church. When I felt it, I was like, what was that? He said, don't speak at another church. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I, my, my, I had reached a different level of liberty at that point. It wasn't that he was telling me to quit talking. What I realized was that all of these pastors and all of these people was inviting me for one reason. Because I walked like it, I sound like it, and they figured I was it. True enough, I'm a believer, but they didn't care nothing about what was going on behind closed doors. I was, in get, I was getting invited out of state just by watching my videos, man. And it really, I didn't like it, but I was going just on the strength of being what? Let's be honest, manipulative. Taking advantage of the situation. 
And I, I don't want to be that type of believer. It's too many pastors, too many deacons, too many bishops, too many people. Just because you you hear them on the internet, you hear them quote the scripture. What's up, my girl? You hear them quote the scripture. You hear all of these things that they saying and all of this power that you think coming out of them. And guess what? Them folks ain't really ain't got no power. Them folks fall short. Them folks doing stuff they ain't got no business doing. Them folks living completely different lives. And guess what? I was one of them. It, I believe, listen to me, I stand on that, but I know for a fact, it's no way them churches was having discernment when them folks was calling me, because it was, at one point, get what I was doing, I was back hustling, I was selling dog food, not only was I selling dog food, I was living with a woman, we screwing there at night, not only was I living with her, get what, she was my cousin, and get what, people ringing my phone like crazy, people ringing my I was leaving church and selling heroin. Leave, get what they doing? It was a great word, Mr. Baker. I know it. Cause guess what? The gifts, the gifts of the Most High are irrevocable. So it ain't. Do you know how many people carrying gifts in them right now? Did, he gave you the gift. He ain't gonna take it away from you. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the gift. He gave you the gift. It's in you. But let me tell you something about the word. The word is alive. Just because it. That's why they always say, "Don't shoot the messenger." A homeless person can give you a word you can't say it wasn't the most high because he's homeless. You hear me? A blind person can give you a word and you can't say it wasn't the most high because he can't see you. This is different. A mute person can probably tell you something in sign language. You can't say it wasn't the, it wasn't the most high because he gave it to you in sign language. And this is what I come to learn about my walk with the king. Just because I had fallen short, just because I had fallen short, it did not mean he was not able to use me. I did not have to lie. And that's when I realized I reached a whole nother level of liberty. I didn't have to lie to the king. I didn't have to, listen, people, listen to me. David said, I, I've wronged no man. I, I've wronged no man. But too many, listen to what I'm saying, too many Christians want to make you think that on the surface that they perfect. That's why when, when the Messiah said, the Pharisees and Sadducees, he said, you clean on the outside. He said, but in the inside, it's a graveyard. It's too many believers walking around here acting like they perfect, acting like they don't have flaws, acting like they don't go home and argue with their spouse, acting like they not they don't get angry with their kids. They act like they not having sex before marriage. They act like they don't lie. They act like they don't steal. They act like they ain't doing nothing. They, they, they know they doing everything under the sun. But then they'll come into church, they'll shake your hand, they'll hug you, they'll tell you they love you, and them folks be awful. And get what? That's when I come to realize I don't have to lie. I said, what? I don't, I don't have to lie. I said, I, I come to understand that I'm a broken vessel. And when he gives me the opportunity to speak, I'm going to speak. And I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you feel about me. Because what I come to understand is he said, what well, the spirit of the Lord is, he said, there's liberty. And what I, come, listen, the enemy is crafty, the enemy is strong, and it ain't not one person on this planet that's, that's, that's perfect. Not one. And that's what I come to understand about my walk. I said, ain't no way I'm going to continue to walk around and act like I'm something I'm not. And listen, to me, by the time I started telling my stories, by the time I started telling my stories, guess what? All of them pastors unfollowed me on Facebook. Then none of them messaged me and asked me how I was doing. But I could feel it in my spirit. I said, they done got on. The, a lot of them probably, man, it looked like Joe T done went back. It looked like Joe, it looked like Joe T this. It looked like Joe T that. The most high told me I could keep it as real as I want. He said, as long as you don't get away from me. It ain't, you can't go through my page. You can't go through none of my social media. You can't go through nothing and tell me over the five years that I have not kept him right in the center. And with me keeping him right in the center, I keep it raw. I keep it real. And I always bring it back to him. And that's what I, uh, that's what I came to understand. I said, these people want to walk around here like, no, 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 no. I get on here. I get on here and tell stories about when I had sex. I said, but I'm going to bring them back around to the king. I get on here and tell them about when I was selling dope. And then I'm going to bring it back around to him. I'm going to get on here and tell these people about when I lied and got over on some people. And I'm going to bring it right back around to him. I said, but ain't no way I'm going to get on here and act like I ain't done it. I bet you that. I said, it won't be a, a person in this world, especially the enemy. But let me tell you something about the enemy. The enemy, feel, the enemy know if you got secrets. 
<laughs> Anybody who got secrets on you, they'll make you feel like they can muzzle you. Anybody who got secrets can make you feel like they can muzzle you, like they can keep you quiet. Because a part of me, I know a part of me, well, I ain't going to do that because I'm hustling. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell them. I ain't gonna do that because I'm sleeping around. I'm gonna tell them that I went to a I went and spoke at a I went and spoke at a at a I went and spoke at a church in Houston. And before I spoke at the church, get what he had me. He said, I know you keep it a little real. He said, dumb and down for me. I said, I can't do that. He said, why not? I said, because that wouldn't be the Holy Spirit. You asking me to control the message. First and foremost, I said, you, you asking me to control the message if you asking me to dumb it down. I said, he said, man, you know I got a lot of the youth and stuff in here. I said, if, the, if, it, if I get on the stage and the Spirit tell me to talk about all the dirt that I done been through, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna get up here and act. I'm not gonna get up here and act like it's peaches and cream out here when there's devils and demons out here. Who, who, who you talking to? Huh? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get up here. A lot of these folks with these devils and demons out here, man. But look, that's the difference in my walk now. The difference in my walk now is freedom. The difference in my walk now is liberty. The difference in my walk now is. I tell you the truth. My daddy told me a couple of weeks. He said, man, they he said, man, they love listening to you. He said, man, because you have reached a level to be able to tell stuff that people, when they hear you say it, they say, did he just say that? Because I'm free. I don't owe nobody. <laughs> Listen, you don't have no hell or no heaven to put me in. So, so when I get over here and I say, oh yeah, I slept with my cousins back in the day and did this and did that, and I did, 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 did. and people say, you did what? Hold on before you fix your mouth. I guarantee you, if if the most high came down came down right now and opened up the books, and opened up the books, get what he gonna show us? He gonna show us things that you ashamed to talk about. He gonna show us stuff that you embarrassed to talk about. But get what he gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something because I'm unashamed. It does not bother me. You don't have no heaven or no hell to put me in. When I say I'm flawed, when I say I done did it, when I say I done done it, it is what it is. And I don't care if you laugh, I don't care if you make jokes, I don't care if you try to make fun of me. I don't care nothing about that. You know why? Because I'm free. You the one ain't free. Social media got you captive. The, the, air, your friends got you captive. You walk around wearing stuff that you can't afford to wear because you captive. You walk around trying to be somebody that you not because you captive. You want to get your body done because you captive. Because they put pressure on you. You walk around here and don't even know you done lost your identity. You ain't never had an identity because you listen. You in captivity. You in bondage. You 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 answer to them. I answer to him. Listen, I walk for him. You walk for them. You trying to please them. I'm pleasing him. I don't care nothing about these people's opinion. I don't care nothing about what they think about me. I told my cousin the other day on the phone, I said, listen to me, cuz. I said, I promise you right now, if they told me I had five minutes left to live, I said, I'll take my last five minutes and breathe and feel so free. I said, because I've been who he called me to be. I've done what he asked me to do. I said, I would not go to the graveyard and no regrets. That's the difference between my walk then and my walk now. When I first came home, parts of me was in bondage. Parts of me was in captivity from what they taught me in the church. From what they taught me in the church. You know how many, you know how many believers I know broke in, in two ways. They broke in their spirit and they broke in their finances. You know why? Because the church done taught them that. It's so many people that, you, listen, it's so, it's so many people who standing up in the church right now have not been liberated. What they have become is they mimic. They mimic and they lie. They won't tell you the truth. And, and then when they get up there and tell they, they, they tell their testimony, be so sugarcoated. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them your body count. Tell them all these lies you done told. Tell them all this stuff you done stole. They, they can't do it. You know why? You know why they can't do it? Because they scared. They in captivity. They in bondage. And they and they say they believers. He said, well, the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. I said, won't well, nobody make me feel like I'm in no box. Won't well, nobody make me feel like I'm captive. And ain't no way I'm going to be in bondage to no man and no woman walking on this earth. That's the difference. When I first came home, I played church. Today, I am church. That's the difference. And that, that, that's how I'm in it. When I came home, I played church. Today, I am church. That's it.
Point blank, man. Point blank, man. I think I think the most high on for real. As far as I done came. <laughs> real talk, man. Hey, it's been a blessing. You better know it. Man, look. Oh, uh, uh, yo. I seen a couple people asking about the book. About my book. I got my book. I got my books on sale right now. My books on sale right now on my website, jtb3.org. You go to jtb3.org. I got both my books on sale. You can get both books right now, two for one, uh, for 35. Uh, if you ain't on my YouTube, go subscribe to my YouTube. I serve the most high. <laughs> jtb3.org. Uh, if you took something from the message, man, if you took something from the message, cash at me a dollar. Okay, so boom one. Somebody put my uh let me get him. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so boom one is my cash app. Cash app me a dollar. Hold on. Man, y'all know I'm gonna keep it real, man. Y'all know I'm gonna keep it real, man. It ain't no it, that's the only way for me to do it. I got a... Uh, I got a PayPal. Or just go subscribe. Who the person who said you ain't got no the person? What's up? What's up, twin? The person who said you ain't got cash out. Go subscribe. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you if you like messages and like this, you gonna love my YouTube. My YouTube is uh uh Joe Baker. It's my name. My YouTube is Joe Baker. Joe Baker. Joe Baker is my YouTube. If you ain't already subscribed to my YouTube, go subscribe to my YouTube. If you ain't got the book, man, go support the kid. Grab your book, jtb3.org. jtb3.org. I'm finna get ready to jump up off here, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's all the king, man. It's all the king, man. Be free. That's what I'm gonna say that before I leave. Be free. And when I say be free, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, <laughs> commercial break me, please. I'm not saying that you can live and do whatever it is you want to do. Tie, tie, make sure your purpose, make sure you, you center in him and how you living. And understand that you, you're not perfect. It is no perfect human being on the planet. Not, man, not, not one. Not one. You're going to make it hard on yourself, man. You're going to make it hard on yourself. He was stretch. He he was stretched wide, homie. He was stretched wide, and if you believe that, stand on it. Ah, right, yeah, no doubt, man. That's what I'm finna do. I'm finna jump off here, man. I'm finna go take a shower, man. It's been a blessing. I had to get on here and talk about that. Uh, I got two videos probably going up tomorrow on my YouTube. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, bring. I've been chilling, man. I've been chilling, man. I've been chilling. Building on, you know what I'm saying, what I got going on. But hey, but y'all be blessed. I'm finna get ready to jump up off here real quick before my phone back, and I want to make sure they say I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow around the same time, same time tomorrow on TikTok. Y'all be blessed. Pop, pop.